Yeah, cool. So, um, yeah, where are we, Tanya? In IKEA Park. Try <laughs> again. Park Park? Car Park. IKEA Car, Car Park. Park. And where? Where? It's near the airport in Athens. In Greece. In Greece, of course. So yes. this is IKEA in Greece. No, IKEA in Athens, near the airport in Greece. And um, quite excited to go and look round. And we've been trying to come here for a while, haven't we? Yeah. Okay, right, so let me voice over this section because this IKEA store in Athens in Greece is absolutely huge. It's uh, a huge warehouse full of everything that IKEA sells. So I don't want to burden you with the over an hour of video footage that it took us to get around the store. Uh, let me just tell you a few things about IKEA in Greece. So. IKEA in Greece, there's six stores in Greece um, as of 2022. Uh, I suppose they're going to add more in the future, or maybe not, I don't know. But anyway, there's one in Athens near the airport, which is this one, which I think is the biggest. It's right next to the airport, right next to the terminal, so it's very, very easy to find. Uh, there's another one in Thessaloniki. There's one in the, more like the centre of Athens, uh, in Kifisus. If this is pronounced that wrong, probably, but anyway, there you go. Another one in Thessaly as well, uh, Yanina and Piraeus. So there are six IKEA stores. Now, when you first move to Greece, if you live in Greece, then the problem that you have is trying to find where to buy all of the things that you need for your house because it's pretty difficult, okay? Um, there are lots and lots of shops that sell homeware kind of stuff like IKEA produce, but they're not very big and they don't have the same variety and it's not all under one roof. And the great thing about IKEA, of course, is that it's all under one roof. You just walk in, buy everything you need and walk out again. So when Tanya and I moved into our house in Greece, we found that we needed a number of things, a huge number of things that we didn't have. Um, so we placed an order online on the IKEA website and it was delivered to our door, which is fantastic because it saves you going around everything and, you know. And while some of the things that you get in IKEA you might not want to keep forever, um, they are certainly functional and they do the job until you can find something better. And of course, some of the other stuff that you get from IKEA is very, very good. Good. It's the, it's the same with anything in life. It's you get what you pay for. And IKEA stuff is, uh, you know, it's it's Swedish designs, um, furniture and homeware stuff that does work well, you know, it does the job. Um, some of it does look a little bit out of place in a traditional Greek house. So anyway, so as you can see, there's the IKEA thing, it's all laid out in different sections and yeah, they even mock up like living rooms and kitchens with all their stuff in to show you what it could look like. And also, they do have a Swedish cafeteria, and they sell Swedish-style food here. So this is where we've got to. Now I'm going to let you go back to the audio from the video, because it's... Right. Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah I know. I'm going to take you for a lunch. It looks lovely, but I still want to be on holiday. Don't fancy a bit of IKEA food? Not today, because I'm going to be on holiday still. I want to go for a lunch. Ah. Oh. What, yeah, you mean some time. authentic Greek food? I know, but this is like Norwegian. Yeah. Oh, uh, or Swedish. Yeah, maybe, but... Okay. We'll go for a Greek then. Anyway, so bye, 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 canteen. <laughs> downstairs into the kitchen. Oh, nearly fell down the stairs then, look. Here. Okay. What have we got down here? Oh, trolleys. Trolleys? Basement. Is it the basement? It's, area, it? it's not the basement, this is downstairs. We went upstairs when we came yeah, in. The fold down breakfast bar. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but it'd be, it'd be more difficult to get it <laughs> to get it out of here into the car 
and to then take it out of the car and assemble it and screw it to the wall than it would be to just go and find the right piece of wood and screw it to the wall. Yeah, they've got everything in here, haven't they? All sorts, yes. They've got things for cooking things in. Yeah. That didn't come out very well, did it? Things for cooking things in. Chopping boards. We don't need any more chopping boards, do we? Ah, here we go. So, yeah. IKEA kitchen department. Everything you want to make your house look Swedish. Along with a model of a Volvo as well. Hmm. It's packed, isn't it, as well? You know, look, look how busy it is. <laughs> oh, sorry. God, busy in here today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fight my way through the crowd. I mean, what day is it? Wednesday? Yeah. Wednesday lunchtime here in Ikea in Athens, right next to the airport. Do you buy some, should we buy some mugs whilst we're here? Oh, no, then I've got to go in. Oh, then you've got to queue and get, yeah, you've got to queue up and pay for them, haven't you? Oh. The queue will be huge as well with all these people in here. Oh, it's going, it's going to be, 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 it's Things for stopping light come through windows and stop people seeing in and see you sitting there on your settee in your pants. Yeah. Curtains, in other words. And IKEA drapery section. It's like having the old department store, isn't it? I always wanted to work in the haberdashery section of a department store. I don't know what haberdashery is, but just the name of it kind of sounds cool. I kind of envisaged dashing around in a habit, you know, dressed as a nun, like a fast nun. Sort of a haberdashery. Yeah. Oh, going into the bathroom section. Ah, Tan, you might find your bathroom mirror in here. This is the small bathroom section. Ah. Like the fittings, not the fittings, the furnishings. An accessories section. Oh, look, there's a squeegee there. Do you need a squeegee? It's metal again. Oh, no, not them pesky metal ones. Yeah, uh, not pesky metal squeegees. You want to get a nice, nice cheap plastic one. That's what you want. Yeah, right. So, no danger of that going rusty, is there? Look at that. Brilliant. You don't even need to drill a hole with a lot of these things. Like, they sort of stick on. You sort of go up to the thing and boom. Like this, look. Oh, I think they're glued on. Oh yeah, they're glued on those ones. That's cheating, isn't it? Uh, 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 oh, what else have we got here? Yeah, wardrobey stuff. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, I don't know the ordering process really, but it sounds convoluted. It sounds like you have to go to each section and they have to find it for you. And then you have to pay for it somehow and then uh, you have to carry it to your car and when you get home you have to throw the instructions away and then spend the next two years assembling it incorrectly and also in the wrong place so as soon as you move it it falls apart and then you, and, and then it's never square again after that it's kind of rhomboidic rhomboidic i don't even know if that's a I don't even know if rhomboidic's a word, really, but... Is it a new word? Rhomboidic? I don't know. But anyway, 
moving on hey postmodern fake industrial lighting again cool very very cool oh it's the lighting section yeah pretty shiny things there we go yeah so all the lighting 4.99 for a for a light that's pretty good isn't it yeah it's made of real plastic yeah yeah 18 carat and uh, here's the boxes section very good we like some good boxes on the shelves light bulbs very useful very useful in the lighting department and it looks like we're going into the rugs and doormat section now I wonder if we can buy a reindeer skin ah it's a polar bear skin look at that real seal is it the real deal no it's a real seal that yeah look there you go there's another one yeah real real animal it's the plastosaurus that's what that was it's the skin of the plastosaurus but this actually ha huh, would you believe it look this actually is real no way i was joking can you believe that 250 what is it cow skin yeah it looks like it doesn't it cow skin that is actually actually like a cow skin Here's a real Persian rug as well. Ah, this one's expensive. Look. $13.99. Still good for 5,000 feet, one of those. Yeah. Four people. In flight entertainment. Dining. Yep. Which, which, which way does it go? I think that must be the front. You can imagine sitting on this, can't you? Zooming through the clouds on your Persian rug. Yeah. Only an Ikea. Cheap clocks. That one's right twice a day. That one's good. And... More stuff. Mirrors. Ah, oh, here's those mirrors that Tanya was looking at. Now that one's good, this one doubles up as a bathroom mirror. Yeah, here I am, hello, yes. Yeah, very cool. Ikea in Greece. Ah, now you can buy authentic pieces of art. Originals, these. Signed originals. By artists from around the world. guarantee that none of your friends will ever have one of these brilliant there we go I quite like this one this is one of my favourites this one here yeah 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 sort of in, in, invokes deep emotion in me it does And uh, here we're going into the gardening section. Yeah, smell, beautiful aroma, floral, floral bouquet of the air freshener. And then we're, we're almost finished. I think we must have almost finished by now. I've been walking around this place for for months. <laughs>
So, oh right, oh, okay. So is this where you find your stuff that you need to buy? Is it? Is it? Is that how it works? You come here and find out what you wanted? You find what you want and then come here with a code? Is that how it works? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. It's kind of like a warehouse, isn't it? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Ikea in Greece is huge. We had an Ikea in Norwich once. Um, it only lasted about three months. People kept trying to eat it. I don't know why. Crazy, crazy people from Norfolk and England. Yeah, anyway, right now we're at the tills. Well, thank God I haven't bought anything because I haven't got anything to pay for. But I'm going to go and get a bistro. So, right there, that's the tour of it. Yeah, very good. Ikea in Greece. Hmm, Athens, near the airport. So there you go, that's the insides of Ikea in Athens in Greece. Um, fantastic. Massive place everything that you want under one roof anyway if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share subscribe email me at the address in the uh, description below and also check out our other videos and in this screen you can see you can watch the next video you can subscribe by pressing the button and you can watch the whole playlist that this video is in okay and the most important thing is to take care out there because it's a jungle